A known hotspot for trouble in Red Bluff is getting its own crime task force. Action News Now reporter Chloe Curtis shows us what some people living at the Antelope Mobile Home Park have been dealing with. Several people living at Antelope Homewood Mobile Home Park here in Red Bluff say crime, trash and fire have become all too common. Some say they've seen an increase in drugs, theft and police answer calls here regularly. Uh, I've noticed a lot of the, dr the drug traffic that has increased here. Um, like uh, a lot of the kids aren't able to come out and play anymore like they used to because um, they don't feel safe. It just doesn't feel like a park should. You know, you should feel safe enough to let your kids go outside and play, your grandkids go outside and play. We have to keep an eye all the time. Tehama County District Attorney Matt Rogers says the park is still privately owned, but there's no on-site management. He says the owners haven't been maintaining the park for years, leading to the task force. We have completely um, neglected the park. They are not doing what they are supposed to be doing. They have let things deteriorate to this point, and so they seem disinterested and uninvolved. Rogers says the California Department of Housing and Community Development regulates mobile home parks like this. If the property owners don't make the necessary fixes, they can have their license suspended or revoked. In Red Bluff, Chloe Curtis, Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. Depending on what the task force discovers, the property owners may also face criminal charges for neglecting maintenance and issues at that property.